Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com with a report for Monday, September 17th, 2018. Free pick coming up in just a moment, a college football early value play for this week's card. We'll get to that in just a second. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's real simple if you want to give it a try. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. It all starts simply by clicking on the link below the video. And uh, we hope you did over the weekend with us. We had a tremendous weekend starting on Friday right through Sunday night. Uh, we ended up 12-4 and four with our 16 plays, and we gained over $4,400 of profit with that 12-4 and four run uh, for our premium uh, plays and clients over at DocSports.com. Just a tremendous weekend, really happy with that. The big plays were the catalyst. We had the uh, seven-star winner back on Friday night in the CFL with the BC Lions. Came back with a six-star win in college football. was our top play on Saturday. And then we had a seven-star win on Sunday in the NFL with the Jacksonville Jaguars, who knocked off New England. First seven-star play for us of the football season in the NFL, at least. And then, of course, the Saturday night eight-star winner with Canelo getting the decision uh, over Triple G in the rematch. I mean, it was a great weekend. Friday through Sunday night, 12-4, and four, plus over $4,400. The big plays alone, the top of the ticket plays, 4-0 sweep, end up over $3,000. Just a fun weekend. I hope you were on board with us. No, we didn't win here yesterday with our free pick. We had the under in, in the, uh, uh, the battle between the Pats and the Jags, but look to get right back on track with our next free pick. So let's finish up strong on Monday with Monday Night Football and Major League Baseball. The Monday Night Football side between the Seahawks and the Bears Premium play available right now over at DocSports.com. And I'll have my Monday Major League Baseball after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. By the way, in baseball, 26-13 and 13 run, and we're up over $5,000 during that 26-13 and 13 run. I uh, wanted to make a couple of updates uh, with the Westgate Super Contest. We're going to start telling you where the consensus plays are and how they did over the weekend. Week one, they went 4-1. and one. The consensus plays this week. Shut out, 0-5, oh, so they're now 4-6 and six on the season. We, fortunately, only had one of the five consensus plays on Sunday. That was the Steelers, and they lost to the KC Chiefs. But uh, a great weekend for those who jumped on board again over at DocSports.com. And, uh, again, uh, it will report on these consensus plays. Houston was the overall top play over at the Westgate Super Contest, and you saw what they did against Tennessee. And, Part of the reason that a lot of folks jumped on it, we did not. We did not back Houston in that game, but you could have got them at a pick in the contest, and, of course, they were around two and a half or three as far as being a favorite. They lost the game anyway. Pros versus Joes a report from Sunday. Well, the pros won with the Indianapolis Colts. One of our plays at Doc Sports over the weekend were the Colts. The Joes, well, or the public, if you want to call it that, they had the Falcons while the Sharps had Carolina. So it was a situation where the pros and the Joes split in Sunday's NFL. We ourselves, or I should say I, uh, passed the matchup between the Falcons and the Panthers, but we did have the Colts over the Redskins. Part of a 4-1 and one NFL Sunday for us with our premium plays and hit the top play with the Jacksonville Jaguars. A couple of notes from early lines posted on Sunday. A big clash in the Pac-12 this coming week between Stanford and Oregon. Uh, the Oregon Ducks opened the small home favorite up in Eugene, but now the Cardinal have flipped over to the short favorite land, one, one and a half in that one. And it looks like Bryce Love is going to play this week for the Cardinal. He's been upgraded to probable for the matchup with the Ducks. Also, turning to the SEC, Auburn opens up 24 over Arkansas. And like that, it's up to 27. Auburn up a field goal from 24 to 27 over Arkansas. And you can see why, because, boy, the Razorbacks looked absolutely horrendous against a Sun Belt opponent, the North Texas Eagles, we had North Texas, one of our premium plays on Saturday, and that was a very nice winner outright as a touchdown underdog. Uh, early moves for Monday because I don't want to you know, forget about Major League Baseball. We've been on the scorching hot run, 26-13 and 13, again, up over 5K. Early moves for Monday in Major League Baseball. I know a lot of you guys are still out there playing baseball and want to know where the early action is. Well, a couple of underdogs right now. Uh, the Cubbies are getting action on the road over Arizona. you got Hendricks going for the Northsiders. He's been on fire for the most part over his last several starts, five starts. Uh, Arizona get a counter with Patrick Corbin. And then the other overnight money getter is underdog uh, San Francisco. Uh, with Suarez on the mound, they're playing at uh, Petco 
on Monday. It'll be the Padres, and they are going with Mitchell. So right now, the two early movers for Monday in Major League Baseball overnights, a couple of the dogs, the Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. And again, our baseball uh, release will be available Monday after 11.30 Eastern, 8.30 Pacific. We'll look to go to 5-0 and with our last five plays in baseball and look to go to 27-13 and with our last 40. Free college football early play, early value play, as we like to call them, uh, looking ahead to next week's card, and it's already come down about half a point or so. We're taking Team 383. That's Louisiana Tech right now, plus 21.5 on the road against LSU. That line opened 22. Uh, the offense averaging over 500 yards per game. The defense holds the opponents to less than 300 yards per game. Uh, we saw their, their 20th overall so far in defense on the season. Obviously, the level of competition steps hip up here for Law Tech. But LSU in a tough spot as a big favorite. Huge comeback win over Auburn on Saturday, winning that down the wire. Uh, they're just 112th in total offense right now, 333 yards per game. They can't pass the football consistently. And in this game against Louisiana Tech, a little bit of extra motivation going against their in-state big boys. I don't think the Tigers of LSU will be able to separate or enough in that running game to win by a spread covering margin. So our first play, and again, it's come down half a point since it opened. Team 383, Louisiana Tech, plus 21 and a half over LSU. And of course, we'll have more college and NFL plays throughout the week. If you like what you see, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. Don't forget about the football packages available right now all week long at DocSports.com. We're red hot. You don't want to miss out. And of course, the Monday Night Football play available right now at DocSports.com. We'll be right back here Tuesday, 7, excuse me, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday with our next update. Let's put Monday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.